Hello traders, it's your one and only Forest Q coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited having you guys here today on this one. If this is your first time on my channel, please do me a favor, okay? And hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on also, because it's very important so that you be the first person to get notified the moment that I release a new video. Because right here in this channel, all I post are winning strategies strategies to win in the boom and crash market the volatility index market and the forex market all right and another thing you want to do is to make sure you go straight to description right now the very first link you see there is my telegram link you want to do me a favor and make sure you click that link and join us on telegram because you don't want to miss out a thing i post strategies i post uh analysis and free signals and i post ebooks and things that is going to help you in your trading career all right, so join my Telegram channel right now. All right, so again, guys, let us get started, okay? Now, I'm going to give you just four simple principles, okay? In order for you to trade with this strategy profitably. Number one principle is your indicator window, window one here. Now, if you notice, you notice you have three different moving averages right here in this relative strength index. All right now the conditions that must be met before you take a trade is number one you want to make sure price gets to this line all right then number two all right you want to make sure price gets to this line before you sell or you want to make sure price gets here before you sell you before you buy for buyers okay number two condition is when price gets here don't just take a trade because price has gotten there you want to make sure the two lines cross each other number three that's number two you want to make sure the two lines cross each other you see the way they cross each other here you see the way they cross each other here all right number three is you want to make sure they curve to the downside because them curving to the downside is like is a proof to tell you that the sellers have emerged in the market if the moving averages are not able to curve to the downside it means there's no selling pressure to push it down i hope you understand so if the bulls are still in power it's not going to curve to the downside rather it's going to keep moving up and higher just like for instance you see the way the bears are pushing down pushing down and they're still pushing down all right you if you notice you just observe that the bulls have emerged here the bulls are trying to push up but your indicator is not yet indicating that the bulls have pushed up you need to allow this to move the moving average to curve to the upside it has to curve out of this zone to the upside to show you that the, to prove to you that a good buying pressure has been applied into the market. So if it doesn't curve to the upside, all right, if it doesn't curve out of this line, it simply means the buying pressure you're seeing here is not yet, yet enough. It means the bulls are not fully strong. Okay, I hope you understand that. Then the very fourth rule you must follow is this is the 15 minute time frame so you want to make sure you go over to the 30 minute time frame in order to get more confirmation and the next com and that confirmation is the yellow moving average which you see here you want to make sure that the yellow moving average aligns that is you want to make sure you see the yellow moving average also facing down downward on the higher time frame okay you want to make sure it faces downward or it crosses this moving averages on the higher time frame that is another uh confirmation for you to know that hey it's really time to sell number one what did i say number one is if you've watched it to this level comment what is number one number one i said you want to make sure your trades you're taking trades from either this zone or this zone all right when i'm showing you the setting i think i will have to apply the numbers of this relative strength index so it can show up around here okay so number two rule what is the number two rule comment below 
the number two rule i said you must make sure the two moving averages cross each other you see the cross the red one came over up to the upside and came down while the blue one crossed here so you must make sure they cross each other if you observe you would notice that they haven't crossed each other yet no no uh, the the bulls are not yet in power fully so it's still trying to cross each other they haven't crossed yet and even if they cross you want to make sure they it curves to the upside like like this like this like this curves to the upside out of the zone that's when you know that the bulls are ready to push up okay i hope you get that rule so it's a very simple strategy that was exactly how i caught the sniper entry you see me on right now till this level my anticipation actually to take my profit is around here this is where i want to take my profit right here that i put this yellow line that's where i want to take my profit and why is that because if you notice you would see that over right here there, 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 there was struggle in the past so there's every tendency that if this price gets back here it might likely want to bounce back up so that's where i'm anticipating to take my profit so that's for you to know how i'm really observing this market i hope you understand that traders for the zoom level for the iphone users you want to take it deep in so we we'll take it up one we take it up one, two, three, and four for the iPhone users. For the Android users, you might likely have to take it up just twice. Okay? And it's going to be good. So I hope you guys get this. Please hit the like button if you enjoy, if you're enjoying this video. Okay? Now, for the settings, we have... You want to first of all put the Relative Strength Index. And these are the levels we've got here oversold overboard so we've got 96 97 98 12 13 14 15 70 30 and 90 then you want to put any star you want okay and you click done it's still uh not showing the numbers are still not showing here i don't know why but whatever it is you should just understand where your overboard is and where your oversold is okay then for the moving average we've got 10 to be period shift minus nine method simple apply to close then make the color red okay my, my background color is black then the second moving average here we've got period 14 shift minus nine exponential low and put whatever color you desire that you're gonna see on your chart okay the last move the third moving average here is 211 shift to be zero linear weighted typical price hlc slash three style yellow and down all right so if you have any question please leave it on the comment section don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe okay and we will all keep winning stay safe and keep winning